In 1987, when my younger daughter, I have two daughters, was one year old and she had just begun walking. Unfortunately, she grabbed a small glass vial of medicine lying on a low-lying table and she fell while carrying it. And a small sliver of glass from that vial, that broken vial, cut one of her fingers and severed a tendon. We were advised to rush her to London to an expert microsurgeon. We did so, and after he had repaired it, her hand was placed in a cast to allow healing for a month. The surgery had been unsuccessful. So we were then advised to go to Paris to meet another microsurgeon called Dr. Glischenstein. And when we entered his clinic, he examined her, looked at us, and said, why haven't you consulted Dr. Joshi? And he said he's one of the finest hand surgeons in the world. He's Indian and he has much more experience than all of us. He then gave me Dr. Joshi's address. It was in Worli, Mumbai, barely 10 minutes away from my office. We returned to India, consulted Dr. Joshi. The very next day, he took my daughter once again into surgery. After the surgery, he stitched into my daughter's tiny fingernail a simple metal eye hook of the kind you'll find in a blouse. He then wrapped a bandage around the same wrist and into that bandage he sewed another eye hook placed in the opposing position to the first one. Total cost of that device? Two rupees. Miraculously, it worked. A decade later, my daughter was playing the piano with the same hand and the same finger. I have told and retold this story because it taught me one powerful lesson. Always, always look for solutions in your own backyard before you think the best solution lies overseas.